as soon as you do that, as soon as you have overlapping metal, that's going to rust again, right? Like moisture is going to get get in between the two pieces of metal, and like that's where it's going to rust again. So it's better to have the metal butted up against each other and then and well that that way that to, at least in my stupid head, I I maybe the paint will save it. But what's the worst that could happen? Right? Um, after we're dead, somebody has this car back in their stupid shop, and they're they're like, what idiot yeah, did yeah, this? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> TR three wrench time reincarnated. It's going to be like the freaking Battlestar Galactica story that keeps repeating itself over and over again. Yeah. All of this has happened before, and all of this will happen again. Hi ho, King of the Vlog here. Welcome back to TR3 Rust Time. So, we're back to this project here, and we got this TR3 from North Carolina during the summer, and uh, now we are starting the process of making this body usable in our quest to have a running and driving TR3, subject of this channel. Lots going on here, maybe some possible movement with the actual body for my car. Either way, we want a running and driving TR3 for whatever period of time that uh, we are waiting for the actual body to be finished by the shop that it currently is at. Let's get into it. This is the wiring harness for the car. That's it. The body harness. Six conductors. One, Seems two, complicated. Two, three, four, five. Sorry, five. That's what. At least that's what we're gonna do right here. Is we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut right along there. We got, yeah. we got some stuff, whether it's what we need or not. <laughs> Question is, do you feed? weld as well as we cut. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Shit. I want to go behind the last bolt hole. So I, I want all of the, the uh, fastening points on the new floor, not the old floor. The question is, do I try to get it behind this, uh, this stamp? So it's, it's nice and s just a nice straight line there to, uh, to weld up. All that for a 30 second sequence on a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna last that long? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> the frame looks pretty good. 
It really does. You think you're gonna be able to weld that pan back in place with it as it sits here? We're gonna have to lift this thing up more. Do I it? don't know. I don't know. I don't know if. I, because... I mean, I think I'll be able to tack it in with it in place to get it, like this side done. Yeah. But I, I think we might want to do the other side of it too. Yeah. To get it on yeah. the front and the back, right? Like, but I think I can get it. I can get it fitted, and like just tacked in. Tacked in. Yeah. Then we can lift the body up, and you can finish do, the weld. Both. Both. Uh, on this side and the underside, which tracks nicely with the we don't know what the f we're doing yeah. sort of theme of this whole project. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not a how-to video. Yeah, <laughs> certainly not. The lighting was actually not too bad. Oh, okay, got it. That's all right. Got the ISO cracked way up. All right. I'll we'll just do it. is holding this body to the thing. Um, this, this, this throttle cable. Uh, I think this is the coolant temperature. Oh no, this is oil pressure. Uh, this is back when oil pressure oh, gauges. Shit. This is oil pressure. Yep. I was looking at this. This is uh, speedo. Uh, tack. That's tack. Yeah, tack this, or this speedo. Thing here. Is that the coolant temperature sensor? Uh, that is indeed the coolant temperature yeah. sensor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look at all that. We're, we're, we're spending a lot of energy here trying to make this thing watertight. It's, and, not, it's not a boat. It's not a boat. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch just pointed out this is a convertible. It will never be watertight. It will always get wet on the inside. So we might do well to leave some holes in the floor so the <laughs> yeah. fucking rain and water can drain out when it eventually get, inevitably gets wet. But I think the tunnel survived, uh, survived the cut, so uh, we will have to cut. The question is, like, this here. Should I try to cut this off and weld this here, or should I just let them overlap? I mean, I could try to, I could try to like get that off. Yeah, I don't know. See, I mean, this is where you know, not taking your dad's advice and learning how to work with metal 20 years ago when he told me to, is kind of biting me in the ass because I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. I want this. No, you don't. I do. You want to look at it and think about it. You don't actually want to own it. I, I want it for, for like one joke only, and that's like, let's take a look at the storm tracker. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have
have to clear that corner out so that this can slide underneath and this can butt up against the firewall. Um, the question, man, that's really hard to, decision to make here on the on this tunnel because this cage nut here is good. We're talking about this one here. We're talking about this cage nut right here. It's good on on this. The question is, do do we? What gets screwed into that cage nut? Does that what screws the tunnels together, or is there something the, else that goes on the, the, the seats the cover, and stuff? No, it's actually the cover for the uh, transmission. Oh yeah, okay. There's a whole other piece yeah. of sheet metal that goes over the whole transmission. Yeah. Right there, like this thing here that we have two of. Because <laughs> of course we do. We have, we have two of a bunch of things and yeah. none of a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. So right here, yeah, these going. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That down. So that this is is essentially flush, right? And then we're using the cage nut that's already there. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, the other thing is like you could we could just cut out the part of that tunnel where those cage nuts are, and then notch that on this one. Use the new cage nuts and use the other side to line it up. You know, you can, it doesn't have to be all or nothing of, of, of each, right? Like it doesn't need to look perfect, but you want it to be Usable, have some yeah. strength, right? Yeah. Which I means. I don't want to do this ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, it will be somebody else's problem in the, in the, in the 2050, 2060 time frame, yeah, I think. Something like that. Yeah. you can kind of wiggle it in and slide that in and then get the front to lay flat right or is there another piece that's got to go under the vertical in the front too i think so here we go